Hey everybody, this is Collected Dude. I'm going to do another reading. This one will be, this is from the DC Universe, the six issue miniseries. This is number one, The Batman Who Laughs, from the pages of Dark Knight's Metal. Look at that. Miss me. What is your happiest memory? Mine is my first. I am four years old and running toward the manor. It's a warm summer evening and past my bedtime. My parents and Alfred stand between me and the house with their hands clasped. We're playing a game. The object is for me to try to break through their arms and make it inside. So I run and throw myself against their arms as hard as I can. But every time they stop me. They keep me there with them. So we can all play a little longer. So I won't find myself on the other side in a dark empty house all alone. I still remember the smell of the cut grass. The bright red sun, like a bloodshot eye peeking through the bars of the trees. What I remember most is the strength of their arms holding me back. And above all, the laughter. All of us laughing like lunatics as the sky darkened behind the house. Gotham, now... Rumble. Alfred, status. I see at least three shooters, sir. Not including the driver. And the trucks. You were right. I'm detecting extra compartments inside the flatbed cushioning. Can you see what they're smuggling inside? No, it's reinforced. Whatever's in there, they're not going to give it up easily. Well, we need to get them off the road now. Off this road now. There are too many people here to... Crash! Sir? I see it. Scream! Come on, come on! Pum, pum! Vroom, vroom. Alfred, look up the schematic on the last two houses. Make sure they're penetrable. 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 I must say, Gotham Banks might consider offering Batman insurance policies. They do. Look it up. Sir, I'm not looking up a joke when... No. Look up the schematic on the dang ho row houses now. Got them. The second row house has reinforced framing. You won't be able to smash through it without catastrophic damage to the Bat Raptor and your body. Look out! I heard about the smuggling ring from an informant on the street. A matchstick man. They use extreme load trucks to carry contraband from Gotham to the outside world. Trucks like these have pockets within the flatbeds for compression, so they can carry things up to three, four tons, like historical row houses moved, removed to make room for new condos. The company is called Happy Trails. Tick. Right on the street is that they've been smuggling bodies out of Gotham that came into the morgue, unidentified, headed for the potter's field. These are the bodies of people who lived and died here, in this city, in Gotham. People we failed to protect in life. But these thieves think they can take them over that bridge, out of Gotham to be hacked up? Shushing. 
The thought makes me angrier than I expect. Thump. Ah, you dumb piece of... You missed. Did I? The engine. He short-circuited it. Sir, the roof is reinforced too. From that height, I've got cushioning. For what it's worth, Batman insurance policies are called Dark Knight Returns. I suppose I should look into one. Scanning the flatbed. There. I've got it. Securing bat charge. Gotham's Potter's Field was established in the city's early days by the most prominent citizens, members of the five families. Click, click. The chosen spot was one of the prettiest at the time. At that time, a field that slopes down to the bay. Detonating. Boom. There was confusion over the way, over why the city should put a gravesite for anonymous citizens on such a prime piece of land, but the thinking was whatever trouble someone faced in life here in this city. Let them at least rest in peace on our shores. All right. Let's see who you... What in... My God, sir, is that... You? Gotham Morgue. Deceased is Bruce Wayne. Age roughly 42, maybe 43. Cause of death unknown. Subject appears to have been in good physical health. No wounds, no internal injuries apparent. Are you hearing me? Hey, Alfred. I'm sorry, sir. But if I may, it's hard to be as clinical as you this time. The DNA matches mine, but it could be some trick, some... I know you. I raised you. And that is you on the table. Some older version of you. It's just too... Look, it's unnerving for me too, but it's still a case. Now I have eyes on me, and the real Dr. Veth is going to wake up any minute. Are you hearing me? I'm... I'm sorry. I'm here. I'll help. No internal injuries. You were saying? As far as I can tell, he is me. I'm mapping the scars, too. And he seems to have all the ones I have from my early years. My training. Here. The burn from Descartes. The laceration from Harvey when he first became Two-Face. I know those scars too well, sir. The whole st history. That's just it. Though, Alfred, he doesn't have the whole history. He has the scars up to point, up to a point. Look. Look for the scars from the last few years. From the last few years. They're... They're not there. He's me. But a me who chose a different path at a crucial juncture. My guess, given his physiology, is that the point came when Bane broke my back. This Bruce Wayne, he retired from being Batman after that happened, found a different way to help Gotham. What? Why? What way? My theory? Look at his hands. That's eco fiber beneath his nails used in green construction. This Bruce Wayne likely was in civil projects 
improving the city to protect it. He was married. See the indentation in his finger? He had a child. How do you know that? The tattoo. May is... May is the name I would have suggested to Selena if we have ever had a daughter. It evokes a new start, a new beginning. The lines around this Bruce's eyes. Smile lines. And his mouth. Laugh lines. Yes, it seems whatever life he built, he was happy. Sir, sir, are you there? I'm here. Alfred, it's him. He's back. I know it. You can't mean... Yes. You know where we have to go. Take us there. Right now. Arkham Asylum. So she tells me the policy is called... Bob, look! Batman... We just redid the dang triggers. How the heck did you get in? Man, I have to say, it's an honor to... It's an honor to... Vasquez, ah! give that... What the... Freeze right there! Oh, you go down fast. Holy, it's Batman. Are those guns? What Batman doesn't use? He does now. Guns. He does now. <coughs> no, don't. Batman, we're foes, but this, this isn't you. Please, the doctor's here. When I lose control, they say the best thing is the pitcher. Ah, it burns! I'm here. C come in, anyone. Batman. He's lost his mind. He's about to open the cell for... Sure. Hello, old friend. <laughs> Hello, bats. Don't tell me you're actually here to kill me. No. But I am. Whoa. No, you wait. Wait. We can we can work something out. We can team up. That's kind of you, Joker. My answer. Is ha. GCPDHQ. Deep down, they know it wasn't you, but still, they're scared. So I'm keeping the signal light off. I understand. So this thing, what is it? He comes from a realm where all our hopes and fears exist in material form. I've had moments when I've thought about killing the Joker, Jim. But it's my belief that the Joker's heart contains a singular super toxin that'll be released when he dies. 
a toxin that will make whoever kills him the next Joker. So this creature, he's me, but a me who's also him? Lord. Well, first, who hasn't thought about killing the Joker? The city will be heartbroken to know it was a decoy in that cell. Whoever the heck Joker managed it, however he managed it, I don't know. But if this Batman who laughs guy is the Joker in your body, we can still... He's not the Joker, Jim. He's Batman. He's me. Joker has points to prove to me, to the world. The Batman who laughs, he's not here to prove anything. He's here to win, to kill anything and everything that's a threat. But when you say he's you, how much of your life? All of it. He's led my life. He's had my training, has my memories, my mind. But he's me from codes, free from codes, morals, heart black as the Joker's. He's a living living embodiment of the idea that Batman always wins. My God. He's an apex predator, Jim. He conquered and killed world after world in his dimension. And he's here for something. This other Batman he brought, who killed everyone at Arkham and nearly killed Freeze. The one they're calling the Grim Knight. The Batman who laughs must have brought him over before our last battle. Kept him hidden, waiting until now. But why? And what about this dead Bruce in the morgue? He has a plan. I, I just can't see it yet. Dang it. I need help. At the time of the attack, the Joker had only been in Arkham a short while. The decoy in his cell must have been swapped in only days ago, as though the Joker knew what was coming for him. The name of the man impersonating him was changed multiple times to hide his identity. One of Joker's slapstick men. Each name change has, has significance. Glux, Sonosa. Lycan, Glajig, the names are all from words that mean happiness in other languages, but each has one added letter. Put together, that letter spells sang, an old Gotham comedy club expression. If you sang, you had the best set of your career. The fat lady sang, you could die now. So what would have been or would be the happiest moment in the Joker's life? Where would it take place? Where am I supposed to meet him? And then it hits me. I already know. I've known it all along. I don't understand, sir. Why would we undo the waterway security systems? The rocks will shift. The tunnels will open. Alfred, do it. Anyone traveling those waterways will be able to come right into... I said do it! It's already done. I just... My God. Was someone already lurking down there, waiting? No. 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 Tell me it's not him, sir. Who is it? Who's there? Now, now, Jeeves. I'm supposed to say knock knock first. You'll be safe here, Joker. <laughs> but I don't want to be safe, old friend. And you don't either. What are you doing? Joker, we need to work to... Blam! A trick gun? 
Alfred, he's going. His heart. The blood. Arterial. Joker. Joker, stay with me. Why? Why did you do that? Because... The only way you'll beat him is to become him. <sighs> My God. Your heart. The toxin. What have you done? No. No! He's... He's really gone, sir. Why... Are you smiling like that? What's wrong? In a second, Alfred rushes to me. And just like in that first memory, I feel the warmth of his hands, the strength as they hold me back. He's calling to me, but all I can hear... He... <laughs> The Batman Who Laughs, The Laughing House, Part 1. Okay. I hope you guys like that. I did my best. I wish I could edit a lot better and then cut back on uh, the mistakes and reread and everything, but um, I don't have the equipment to do that now, but maybe eventually I will. Who knows? Like I said, I'm just doing this for fun. Hopefully, like I said, as people listen to it and hear it and everything like that, they'll want to pick up the book and everything um, and enjoy the book themselves. And maybe um, those companies that do stories um, on audio tape, they'll be doing these books as well. Because imagine getting all the writers and uh, getting all the artists and stuff like that together, or the uh, voice actors together, and just to do these stories. They'd be very good. I think so. But thank you very much for watching, and like I said, I'm going to continue to keep doing these as much as I can. But you guys have a great day, and Collect Dude is out.